Jordan your, your go-to guy in those situations? Well, I don't know if you say go-to guy. I mean, I, you know, he's definitely a floor general for us and a guy that we expect to, to quarterback our team and, and to obviously initiate offense and, and make other guys around him better. You know, and, uh, um, you know, the first half, I thought he came out and started the game the right way. Uh, but, but then I thought he kind of got caught up in the game a little bit in terms of being young, emotions a little bit, and didn't make the, you know, the right decision a couple of times in terms of could have made a pass and then came back and made a foul. And, and then we had to sit him down for a little bit. But, but again, you know, I thought our team persevered through that. I thought Sule Boone got some valuable minutes. Uh, in, in meaningful time, you know, at the point guard spot, and he's a guy that we're developing to be a, a guy that can initiate offense for us as well and play with the ball as well. Um, we worked through some foul trouble uh, in the first half as well, and uh, uh, again, just proud of my guys the way they hung tough. That's a that's going to be a really good Lobo team over there. Uh, extremely talented. I mean, they're going to be one of the better teams in the Mountain West Conference, and you know, Paul does a great job with those guys, and. And, uh, you know, they can be as good as they want to be as well. I mean, they come in and come into our game tonight, you know, they've had, they'd scored 90 points on every opponent. Uh, and we knew we had to kind of come in here and, and really try to set the tone defensively and really try to guard hard. What an amazing finish. I mean, seriously. And the crowd went nuts. And, I mean, you know, what a shot by Lathan. How'd you guys feel? We had a great crowd, you know. And, again, we're going to continue to have great crowds. We've got a great community here that respects basketball and understands basketball. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to try to do our part in terms of putting a good product on the floor that, that represents not only the community but, but also our university the right way. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to get people to get behind us and want to want to feel the done. Jordan's made a little bit of a habit this first two years of hitting shots like that. What is it about a player um, – who's able to hit shots like that. Is it something inside of them or what is it? Well, again, Joy's not afraid of the moment, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, to this point of the season right now, Bryson Williams it, has been kind of our go-to guy. If you're looking for a guy in the post or trying to get something down a high percentage shot, and, you know, Bryson just didn't have that ump tonight. He balanced and flew over the last couple of days. And, and I, th I think he gave us what he had tonight. He made some critical free throws down the stretch. But, but uh, Jordan learned a lot last year. He played significant minutes. and. He, Nigel, and, and Effie and those guys were put in some, some big positions last year to win games as well. And, you know, I turned to the coaching staff and said, you know what, they're in position right now to do this, and they're going to be better for it moving forward. They, they're not able to do it right now, but they're going to do it in the future. But they have to be in those positions to grow and learn and have opportunities to do that. I, I go back to uh, Middle Tennessee, our very last game of the season last year, and uh, we have a chance to win the game. And uh, we put the ball and we ran a play for Jordan, and he got a shot just like where he made the, made the shot tonight. He missed it, but he had to be in a position right there. Okay, and I thought, again, tonight, being in a, in a tight ball game, you know, he grew from that over a year ago. Coach, the level of play throughout this game, it felt a lot like, you know, February, March style of play, hotly contested throughout. Would you agree with that? I know you talked about building an identity early on, but this really looked like some high-quality basketball. Well, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. We're, we're a much better team than we shot the ball tonight, and uh, – uh, but when you don't shoot the ball particularly well and you don't know, you know, how well you're going to shoot it from night to night, you know you can guard every night and you can defend. And, and that's the one thing that we're really trying to get our team to buy into, wanting to be one of the best defensive teams in the country. And, and if you do that, you're going to give yourself a chance every single night. Whether you shoot the ball well or not, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to get some meaningful stops. And I thought we were able to do that against a, a very talented offensive team. Coach, I feel DG last year had a lot of pressure on him playing uh, in the position was uh, he was highly recognized by the conference. Uh, today is your top rebounder with seven rebounds, uh, uh, total points uh, uh, 12. Uh, what does it mean, uh, I mean, to have him come off the bench and be able to give 21 minutes and still uh, make a big effect on the game? Well, we had four guys, almost five guys in double figures, you know, and, and Effie's been one of those guys that, uh, you know, when you have a lot of success early in your career, um, you know, and then, and then all of a sudden now you, you have some other guys that you, that you have competition with every single day. I think he's handled it very well. I think initially he struggled a little bit with it, but, but he's got into a good groove right now, and he's doing more extra work right now as well, and, and you see the results in, in his game right now. And, you know, Bryson didn't have, didn't have his, you know, his spunk tonight in terms of, uh, uh, of what he used as brought to the table right now, and I thought if he came in and gave us great minutes, uh, down at the end of the floor. He's a problem to deal with likewise, you know, and, uh, you know, when we want to go with a power lineup, we can have him and Bryson both in the game together, you know, and stuff as well.
You uh, said a lot of you trying to make defense the identity of this team. How much pride do you take that you're able to hold a team that's been averaging 90 points a game to 63 tonight? Well, I mean, our goal every game is to try to hold the field goal percentage down to, you know, less than 40 percent, and we, you know, we've been able to do that. We have those guys at 38 percent. That's pretty good, you know. And uh, uh, like I said before, those guys have been been shooting a pretty good, pretty good clip. You know, the one thing again when you look at the game tonight, they got to the free throw line 31 times. We were only, only able to get there 13 times, so we weren't putting a lot of pressure on the paint, whether it was drives or whether it was uh, post feeds uh, tonight. But but when we got to the line, we did we did a nice job of making free throws. We just didn't get there as many times as we like to get there. Uh, but uh, but again, you know, I give our guys a lot of credit. Our guys really persevered through and, and they had to battle through. You got this time of year when you're able to battle through some adversity and continue to play when the ball's not going through the basket, and you can see that you can go down and, and, and get a meaningful stop when you have to to win the game. Our guys did that tonight. You beat New Mexico State and New Mexico within a week's time. It hasn't been done forever in a day. What does that mean to you and your program? But we're just building. We're just building. I mean, we're just, again, it's a great start to the year right now, and we've got a long way to go in, in a number of different areas to try to get better. Uh, the thing that I do like is that our guys are really trying to, to buy into the preparation piece. Uh, they're, they're buying into how hard they have to play, and, and we'll clean up some of the details. And I think as you get into December, you really have to clean your details up. But but really in November, you gotta you got to really try to hone in and, and establish your identity, and we're really trying to do that. You know, in terms of trying to be a defensive-minded team, we'll get better taking care of the basketball. We'll get better with execution, whether it's against man or zone, and uh, and we'll shoot the ball better. It seemed like when uh, Williams and Latham went out, the guys were kind of tentative with their shot. It's like they was kind of, I wouldn't say scared to shoot, but there was a few extra passes. Um, what was going on there? Was the defense that good, or it's just uh, people were that confident in their shot at times? Yeah, well, you know what? We turned down some open looks. You're exactly right. We got some great looks, you know what I mean, that we didn't make, you know. And, and uh, you know, I always tell our guys, you can't you can't stop being aggressive. Take your shot. When you open, step in there and take the shot. Because an open shot is better than a contested shot or a shot of, that, that later in the shot clock that we got to force all of a sudden. And we had a lot of great open looks throughout the course of the game. And, uh, you know, I thought, again, as we got better ball movement, I thought that, uh, you know, we were able to get some more uncontested shots. But, you know, you got to continue to step in and, and uh, do what we practice. And, uh, you know, again, we'll be a better shooting team. We didn't shoot a particular well tonight, but I like the way we shoot the basketball. I'm really excited about how we're buying into how hard we have to guard on the other end of the floor. What do you think of what Daryl did, especially at the beginning of that second half? Um, Scored 18 points, but he really had a surge there at the beginning of the second half. Well, I, I was more impressed with his defense than it was his offense. I mean, tonight, he Darrell's a much better shooter than three from 10 from three. And he got some great looks, and he passed up some great looks. But but I thought he really guarded hard down there against a hard guard with Lyles. Lyles a big guard. He's, he's, a, he's a handful to deal with. And, and Darrell accepted that challenge and, uh, and, and really for a better part of the game. You know, did a nice job on him. You know, you're not going to shut a guy out that can score the basketball the way he scores it, but I thought he had really good effort down there and want to on the other end. That's why I was most impressed. Uh, you know, you look down and you didn't even know he had, he had 18, almost 20 points in the game. Coach, yeah. working through foul trouble, like you mentioned, uh, you've done it in every big game so far this season, Tech and MSU, and uh, uh, again here tonight. How much value is there in that confidence knowing coming down the road that your team can just play through that. Well, we got a lot of guys that can play. You know, we got guys on the bench that are not playing as many minutes right now that are good players. And 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 you have to continue to build your depth, continue to build your team, and, and trust guys out there at meaningful times. You know, and you know um, that's that's why it's a team. So you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Whether it's foul trouble, maybe someone get you know you know goes down and next man up you know so you got to have a you got to have a stable full of players that you that you trust and you feel confident with and uh and we do we have we have a lot of players that can play and that are good players you know and that have played in in, uh, in meaningful games and, and played meaningful minutes you know and uh so um again we'll continue to build our bench this time of year coach now four and oh with two big time high profile wins here at home uh, you gonna take any time to you know sit back and celebrate this one tonight? I know you guys don't play again for another week until next Wednesday, but what's next in the dog? Well, you always keep them for one night. Whether you win, whether you lose, you only got it for one night, and then it's on to the next next ball game. And uh, again, you know, hopefully our guys will be excited about about beating a talented team here at home. And uh, you know, know we still have room to continue to improve and get better. Uh, but more important, we got time to focus on our academics. 
You know, we're not traveling. Guys got to dig in and do a good job in the classroom right now. And and because uh, we're gonna soon here, we'll hit the road and, and we'll have to get out. But they got they got to buckle down academically and stuff. And we know what we still have to continue, continue to work on basketball wise to get better. But it's a time for us to continue to focus on that area as well. Well, two more questions.